hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel for this video i'm going to be giving you guys a wash and go but i'm using brand new products i've never used them before i am going to be using the tgin rose water collection i've been seeing this collection going around on youtube when it first came out never tried it i've tried the green tea leave-in from tgin i liked it but i never really tried any other products from them i know a lot of people like their hair mask and other stuff but i found these at marshall's the other day and they were six dollars each so i was like why not just get it and try it for you guys i mean i only spent twelve dollars on both if i don't like it you know i can work something out i've already shampooed and deep conditioned my hair i deep conditioned using my dominican forbidden hair mask by bomba curls you guys this stuff is so bomb if you've been watching my videos lately you know that i've been raving about this i used it in my straight to curly video and then i also deep conditioned with it today and i'm obsessed with it i finished my first container of it already and I bought three more. So I'm just going to jump right into the wash and go. There's no product in my hair right now so it's just freshly conditioned and my hair looks good. It, like, it looks nice and thick and full and chunky. I'm just going to go ahead and get started by separating my hair and applying the leave-in conditioner all right so the first product i'm going in with is the rose water smoothing leave-in conditioner with rose water acai berry and it's a lightweight moisturizing leave-in conditioner for soft smooth frizz free hair there is a whole collection with this shampoo conditioner deep conditioner but i don't really i'm not usually checking for all that i usually like to go straight to the styler so that's what I did. So we're gonna start off with the leave-in, taking this much, ooh, it is, let me see, let me see the consistency. Oh, it is a nice, creamy consistency. I like how it feels, and I like how it feels going on to my hair smells nice not an overpowering smell nice and light and it smells it has like a light rose scent like a fragrancy rose scent feels smooth going onto my hair it doesn't have crazy slip but it definitely feels smooth and it feels similar to the green tea leave-in from what i can remember product does feel like it's absorbing into my hair and I kind of just want to keep putting it on because I feel like it's really moisturizing my hair. I really like the way how this stuff smells. It's, it's a light, but it's cute. Like, I like it. So I use like ooh, this much per section and honestly I've been adding more but just so y'all can see with a nice clear view of how it's going in. I feel like it's applying even better now that I used warmer water in my uh, spray bottle.
All right, so going in with the Rose Water Curl Defining Styling Gel. Let's see the consistency. She looks thick. Has that nice same rose scent. Doesn't feel super thick in my hands though. Feels kind of, ooh, but goes on smooth. Hold up. <gasps> yes, look at, oh, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Let me find out TGIN that y'all are over there really cooking it up in the lab. Oh, but even when I brush through it, it can handle being brushed without really frizzing. So I'm taking two pumps first, rubbing it in my hand and just smoothing it on. Okay, I can see this having probably a light hold, but there is some definition there. I love how it smooths on. The gel has a lot of slip. Okay, somebody commented in my last wash and go video asking me what I was doing when I'd like twirl the brush like that. But basically it's just my way of like kind of creating curls in my hair because um, in this crown area towards the ends, my curls, my hair doesn't really curl the same. So it needs a little bit of help. So I just like twirl the brush around to create curls. but. Just so you guys can see, this is what my hair looks like with the gel completely applied to my hair. So far, so far it looks really good, really shiny. It smells good. The gel feels like lightweight. Like it definitely feels like a lightweight gel. I don't feel like there would be a cast. It doesn't even feel like there would be a cast on my hair because my hair feels so extremely soft right now. I'm interested to see how it looks when it dries. I'm going to air dry for as much as I possibly can. And then if I need to, I will sit under my hooded dryer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna touch it too much. All right, I'll see you guys later hey you guys so i just wanted to come on here and show you all what my results are looking like after i blow dried my hair and stretched it out and everything like that you guys i love this wash and go i did not think 
that it was gonna come out this good but it looks really good my hair is really shiny um mind you i did use this pattern beauty argon oil hair serum as well to help stretch out my hair and moisturize it and everything like that but for the most part my hair feels really good the hold feels good like there's a firm hold but my hair still has movement i love it i feel like it's going to last me so this is just going to be a quick check-in i am not going to officially close out the video today i did just film a chit chat get ready with me um and i did this look and i was just like you know talking whatever chilling in the video but i did want to like come on and show you guys what my hair is looking like today and i know i'm gonna get a couple more days out of it and i'm excited for that so yes i will definitely up Date you guys with a final update tomorrow i see this like my hair is giving length curl definition shine my hair looks so black oh my gosh y'all know i have an obsession with like how dark my hair can look but i just know that when it looks this dark that means she's moisturized that means the product is bomb yeah. hey guys so i am back to give you all my final final thoughts and show you all my results of my second day hair i am really really loving this wash and go this is probably by far one of my favorite wash and goes i mean the hold is bomb like this still looks like i did it like yesterday it looks exactly the same granted i didn't leave the house today so that's probably also has like a little bit to do with it but i mean look at my hair the definition crazy and there's absolutely no flaking whatsoever like i really do love this wash and go and i hope you guys get to try these products as well okay so i'm gonna stop okay so enough talking about how much i love this wash and go let's actually get into the products and why i love them so much so here they are tgin rose water soothing leave-in conditioner and the curl defining styling gel so these products really really blew me away i was not expecting to like them as much as i do i mean i've tried the green tea leave-in but i never tried their gel and i didn't really know if like their gels were good or not but first off let me talk about the rose water smoothing leave-in conditioner i enjoyed this product i love this i love the smell of everything in this line well i've only tried these two products but yeah i love the way how this this line smells it didn't have like a whole lot of slip but i felt like it was a very decent leave-in conditioner especially considering the fact that i got it for can y'all see that i got it for six dollars okay so yeah and i used a good amount i used about down to there yeah i mean i did enjoy the leave-in i thought it worked pretty well it's a lightweight moisturizing leave-in conditioner for soft smooth frizz free hair and i felt that it probably did contribute to the lack of frizz that's in my hair i mean my hair has frizz because there's like a natural amount of frizz but like i feel like i would definitely have significantly more frizz had i used like a different product you know what i'm saying this leave-in conditioner is definitely lightweight because i felt like i piled this on i felt like i used a lot i'm typically heavy-handed with my leave-in conditioner but at the same time i don't feel that weighed down my hair as at all i do feel like this is smoothing though because when when it was in my hair and when i was applying it in my hair i felt that my hair did look smoother and it did contribute to you know taking away some frizz in my hair too my hair does feel soft although i do have a good hold on my hair there's still a slight firmness to my hair but not like a dr not not in a dry way i do enjoy this leave-in honestly i don't feel like these products are something that you need to get separately i feel like you might as well just get them together so they can form so that they can perform the way that they're supposed to and formulated to i feel like this is definitely a duo you should just stick with together like together so next thing let's talk about this gel this gel definitely blew me away i was definitely not expecting this gel to work as well as it did 
when it went into my hair, it felt like it was going to be lightweight. And this says it's a medium hold styling gel that reduces frizz, increases volume, and defines curls, kinks, and waves. I don't think it's medium hold. I, I don't think it's extreme hold but it's to me it's definitely not medium hold i mean i do feel like there's like a firmness to my hair that doesn't feel like a medium hold i feel like this could be definitely considered a strong hold gel maybe it's maybe it could be a medium hold depending on how you apply it or maybe i was just a little bit heavy-handed with it that's why i have a little bit more extra hold but i mean i felt like i used a decent amount i feel like i used the same amount as i would with like a camille rose type of gel this gel is literally like a great fusion between the consistency of the Camille Rose gel of how well it smooths into your hand and also combining a little bit more thickness and consistency like the wet line gel or the extreme gel, whatever you want to call it, or an eco styler gel, that type of thickness, but with the smoothness and moisturizing feel of Camille Rose. I really, really do love these products. I think you guys should try them point blank period the results are really bomb really bomb I mean look at the definition look at the definition the definition the hold and all I did last night was I slept with my satin scarf just tied around my head like I just throw all my hair back and then tie the satin scarf around it and then you know it gets all smushed together when i sleep but then when i take the satin scarf off in the morning or in whenever i get ready i just shake it out fluff it up and boom we're here i did not even lay down my edges okay all i did was just do this little swoopy swoop baby hair so this is still my edges from yesterday when i laid them so yeah, y'all saw in the previous clip what my hair looked like yesterday. So this is it today. And I feel like this wash and go is only going to look better over time. And I'm probably going to use it another time for this for my next wash and go. So you probably won't get another wash and go video from me. Uh, <laughs> yes, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you all found this helpful. And I hope you guys get to take my product recommendation and try the rose water collection. Well, at least try the rose water leave in and styling gel. Usually, when collections drop, I'm always here for the styling products anyway. But there is a shampoo, and conditioner, and a hair mask, um, and something else in this line as well. But I'm just here for the leave in and the gel, ma'am. Like, yes, yes, it did it for me. I'm a believer, I'm, I'm a believer in these two. Let me know if you guys plan on trying these products down below in the comments. Let me know what you guys think of this wash and go because it's bomb. Let me know what you think. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or found it helpful. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.